What's going on here? What's going on here? I am live. <sighs> hello. Hello, hello. Hello. And Oh, oh! My stool just made a funny noise. Hi guys, how are you going? Just bear with me, just a jiffy while I get my screen organized here. Apparently I say that at the beginning of every single live, so <laughs> sorry about that. Hello, Linda Pearson. Okay. It is day one of the Great International Australian Craft Show online and this is my fourth live Facebook for today and I'm going to, hello ladies, I'm going to create a little something here for you, just reading your comments, hello Shirley, hello Jackie, Jackie your cart is very full, can I make a suggestion? Process that cart, baby, because um, we have sold out of a lot of stuff. And I'm a bit concerned it might not be there when you process your cart. You guys have been super busy today. Um, shopping up a storm on nataliemay.com.au. So thank you for that. All right, let's do this. Let's make something. Uh, nataliemay.com.au. Today you will find a awesome special. Today only, you will get 20% off of All and Create, 20% off All Minte, 20% off of Paper Artsy, plus 25% off of Natalie May products. 25% is something I haven't done before, so take advantage of me while I'm feeling weak and vulnerable. Take advantage of me. Um, and if you haven't joined our Facebook group, please pop in and say hi. Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community. It's quite the mouthful, but you, you're missing out if you're not in there. You can catch all of these YouTubes up, uh, all of these up on YouTube, uh, all of these videos that I've done, and um, on Instagram you'll find some pictures as well. So, I love that my screen's frozen. Are you joking? Radio. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to... Use some of this Paper Artsy printed tissue paper and we are going to, I'm going to recreate a project that I did a couple of years ago. And this is, I'm going to make this little tag, little mini folder. And it's going to be all about layering up some colours, stenciling, but I'm going to add a few different elements to it. So let's get into it. I'm going to be using these tags. Now these tags come to you in a, you can purchase them in a set of, I don't know, pack of, pack of 20, I think. Conveniently they're also on special on nataliemay.com.au. So I have got five tags here and they are all joined together and I'm going to use some washi tape to run down this same here. Now you can use any sort of washi tape. So you know how we may or may not hoard washi tape? Because I know you will do. Where's my knife? Um, now's the time to use it. So 20, 20 in a pack. Oh, thanks, Linda. There we go, that one there. Now these are the washi tapes that I'm using are from my personal stash, but we also have washi tapes. This one's an All and Create washi tape, which are on special. I like this one because it's got a pop of colour in it. It's my favourite one. So washi tape is a non-permanent adhesive, which means that it is a low tack tape. For this purpose, we're going to be also collaging. So it is, <laughs> um, it is going to uh, blend in to the background, and we're going to make sure that it's all adhered really well. 
So it'll be fine. Let's just go with that there and that there. So I am taping on both sides of my tags to join them all together. Running my fingers up and down, just making sure that they're all stuck really, really well. And then they'll actually, theoretically, yeah, they'll fold beautifully. Dun, dun. Then that one will go that way. And this one will come back here. So what I thought I might do today is use some of this gorgeous printed tissue from Paper Artsy um, and collage, then add some paint and maybe a little stenciling as well. Hey, Amanda. Hello, Michelle. Hello to everyone just joining in. So these little guys here have got an excellent price point. Even at full price, not 20% off, they are excellent value for money. You get four sheets in the pack. They are black and white printed. There's two different designs, but the sheets are huge. And I've cut this one already. So they're a little quirky uh, and they've got some really, really interesting designs on them. So that's just covered up your whole page, but it is huge. So I thought that what I would do is just start tearing and start sticking. I'm using gel medium as my adhesive and I want to collage my tag. And I'm gonna use some of these really awesome images as well. So I'm going to be a little bit selective about where I'm tearing. Whoops, nearly lost his head there. Are you making a cup of tea? I am. <laughs> right, I like that bit. So, you know, let's just not even fluff around. Let's just stick this down. So my gel medium needs to cover the area where the where the paper is going to go. And that's really, really important. It's not going to stick down really good unless we've got a good coat of gel medium. And then my gel medium is just going to go back over the top to make sure that it's stuck down really nicely. Like that. I like this car. I'm just gonna separate it because I'm gonna put it on the other side. Um, I've got some of this paper here, whoops. I'm not doing my whole tag, I'm layering, whoops. I like it straight too. Um, I seem to be saying whoops a lot here today. Oh, maybe I need that other cup of tea or a gin and tonic. Is it too early? No. No. So Linda has very kindly pointed out the gel medium that I'm using is the Dina Waitley gel medium. It is my choice of gel medium. Today it's the one that I reached for. It is the one that is on my desk. Um, just having a look at some of the other designs here. What can I use? Do I want to use any other particular images? I'm going to grab my clock on the top here. And I want to just tear that edge a bit so that it's a little bit more raw, not so perfect. Pop that, whoops, pop that down here. So it's overlapping to make sure that my Washi tape is completely stuck down as well. And what happens is this paper artsy collage paper, tissue paper, goes completely transparent and that makes it gorgeous to use. Really, really nice to use. Um, I'm not worried about these overhang bits here.
but I'm going to get this clock up the top here. And I'm going to trim off any excess bits, like I said. And stick that down. So we're just collaging on our background. So this, uh, like I said, these little tags that I'm using are available in a 20 pack at a very, very low cost. And uh, especially seeing that they are in the 25% off section as well, which is a bit of a bonus. Thanks, babes. You watch me empty my, uh, mm. clean my, that's mm. right. I will not clean my brush in my cup of tea. If you say it out loud, you know, theoretically. And then I'm going to dry this off, flip it over and do the other side. Um, so Linda's just asked the question, do I think the collage paper would be strong enough to hold the tags together? I will say no, because it is a lovely thin tissue paper. It tears really, really beautifully. But I don't believe it's going to have enough adhesion and enough strength to do that, which is why I have put the washi tape underneath. Okay, so uh, I made a point of doing that because I don't think it will be strong enough. Oh, that's good. So just hitting it with the heat tool just to get that dampness off of it. So when I turn it over in a moment, most of the dry, most of the most of it is dry. Now this tissue paper is very much more of a tissue paper than a collage paper. So if you were to use one of the Natalie May scrapbooking collage papers, I don't think you would have a problem at all with a strong gel medium using it to stick the tags together, but I don't think it'll work for, for this purpose today. And I just lost my car on, no I didn't. Yes I did. Oh, you know, my marbles. Here it is. I'm after my car. I want my car. There we go. It's the one I ripped off to go there. And so I flipped it over and I'm going to repeat because, of course, this is a really lovely double-sided project. And I wanted the car to go there because it has got that lovely straight edge. project is not going at all like it started in my head <laughs> but that's okay that's perfectly fine I'm off on a different tangent now I'm making it work so thank you to everybody who have, who have uh, who's jumped online and popped your orders in picked up a few few bargains over the over throughout the day of paper artsy products on special and all in create you guys have really embraced the all in create special so we are grateful for that and just to let you know all in create will not be on special again this weekend so if you see something that you like um now would be the time to Take advantage of that. Hello, Kerry Ann. Welcome back. Now, today's live Facebooks. Uh, earlier on this afternoon, I did a live Facebook when I created a little mini album. I will be taking, I've got to finish, finish embellishing that little mini album. I think we'll run out of hours in the day, but that's okay. Um, and we are going to, well, you can jump online and purchase that as a kit which is fantastic. Um, and then we have, what else? What did I do this morning? Oh, I made those super cute little tags. I don't like that bit. Uh, 
just gone in with a nice simple little bit of a script in here. Let's save the fish for a rainy. No, I'll stick the fish up there. Except for his tails on another page, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So just running my paintbrush with gel medium on it back over the, to seal the, over the collage paper, the tissue paper to seal it. And now I'm gonna pop that straight into some water because if you let gel medium dry on your paintbrush, your paintbrush is as good as dead. You need to throw it in the bin. Right, let's dry this off quickly. It doesn't take very long because we're not using very much gel medium. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Rubbish. And I covered up my rubbish bin with my laptop, so we'll just throw that on the floor. Did I? Oh, I nailed it. So there's a couple of ways that I can go from here. Um, with my original project that I did last year or the year before, which is this one here, I went for bright with lovely curly stencils. This time I can either go for bright or go a little vintage. Let me know what you think. I can go with the fluoros or I can go vintage. Let me hear your thoughts, girls. What do we think? I need at least six votes in the comments, seven votes in the comments to make a decision while I'm drying this. Bright or vintage? Ooh. Oh. We need one more vote for vintage and then that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> oh, thanks Leslie. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. Hey, you can't vote twice. Okay, I'm just gonna trim this off. Okay, we're gonna go for browns and more vintage tones. And today, okay, let me get rid of these guys then. We're certainly not gonna need those. I'm gonna to have to get some other paints out. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna cut these bits off before I start, just so that I have a good indication of my boundaries. Because boundaries are important, people. I do have boundaries, Louise. Was Did that not come in an email from HR? <laughs> See, I told you I'm funny in real life. <laughs> of course. Right, trimming that off. And you're totally right. Vintage, I only, I knew you would all say vintage. I totally baited you into that because this collage paper does really scream more of a vintage sort of style. So, um, more of a steampunk style like Deborah says, so that's perfect. Right, hey, I'm happy with that. So let's pop that one aside and have a look at what we've got here. Pop that aside, fold that back up. And throw it in my storage. Radio, paint, let's talk about paint. 
The paint that I want to use, first of all, the thing to make it work, to make this work, is to put the paint in front of me in the colour. I need to limit myself to the paints, okay? So first and foremost. Um, Paper Artsy is currently on special this week, or today only. So I'm going to pull out Paper Artsy first. So in more vintage colours here, I have got Slate, Toffee, Caramel, Sand, Chocolate Pudding, I've got gold, which needs a very good shake. Uh, I also have a little, I have a little blood orange I'm thinking could work. No, it won't. <laughs> Stop that. Stop that. Um, and truffle, truffle, I'm heading, you can see the colours that I'm, I'm, I'm heading towards here and koala so i've got some grays i've got some beige i have some this caramel here has got a yellow base i have also pulled out three art by marlene colors um mind you that chocolate pudding is very very close to mud fight so i don't need to pull that out um, the color tobacco by art by marlene is unique and i love it it's very, very nice to use. Uh, clotted cream is a really nice colour as well. So I'm going to keep those two out. So let's crack in and build up some colour. I'm going to need a paintbrush. I'm going to need a paintbrush that is looking like... Do I not have? Oh, here we go. Maybe that one, those two. Maybe that one. So what I'm looking for with a paintbrush is something that's going to put the colour on naturally, but something that is going to spread it out really nicely. Um, these and they're soft. They're soft paintbrushes. Uh, most importantly, so I think this one's going to be too small and make my brush strokes appear too much So I'm going to go with this one here. This is an Art by Marlene paintbrush and I think that that's going to work quite well Where am I going to start? I'm going to start by putting a few swatches of color down on my My mat here and I'm just going to try and work out where I'm going to put those swatches. I'm just looking at the camera Yep, that works there. So I have got truffle. I'm going to put some clotted cream. Oh, what did I do with that pin? Uh, just bear with me a second, girls. I got it out and I was playing with it and then I put it somewhere and now I don't have it. Sorry about that. I just um, I usually keep a pin handy when I'm using Art by Marlene because I love these fine tips, but they are they do block up. Common problem. Got one sorted. Um, I'm going to grab some of this caramel and sand. So I'm kind of putting them down here in some sort of. Colour order. Oh, and I didn't shake that one well enough, did I? They have been sitting. And I've just noticed that one's been sitting a bit as well. Let's just give those a bit more of a shake. That sounds a bit better. There we go. much better caramel right let's start with that let's go with the less is best option and let's crack into it 
So I'm going to start here with this lovely truffle and I'm just going in with a really, really light stroke. And it's most importantly, because they're kind of like a, a bit of a translucent sort of paint, the best thing is, is they are, that the images are coming through. Okay, now I'm gonna start mixing in a few other colors. And I'm working with a combination of opaque paints from Paper Artsy and the semi-opaque and the translucent, transparent paints. So there's gonna be a really interesting combination here. I have a baby wipe handy that I can grab and just lighten up with a baby wipe over certain areas if the paint goes on too heavy. And now I'm going to, oh yeah, this caramel's nice. You could also go with more of an ochre sort of, or cheddar sort of look, but this caramel's got a real rust sort of feel to it. And I'm doing a real dry brush technique, meaning I'm really just working the color into the paper, in and around the collage paper. I'm gonna get in here with some of this toffee. You going home, Lou? Not yet. Not yet? Nearly. Nearly. So I'm gonna mix those two colors together and put a really light dusting of the color over the top here. I always like to start with my, whoops, lightest colour and build up to the darkest so that I can build layers. I find that the colours go on much nicer that way and the layers look better. They've got more depth to them. And I forgot, I'm neglecting my washi tape area, but that's okay, let's go over that. If you missed the two live Facebooks from earlier today, you can catch them over at my YouTube channel, um, Natalie May Scrapbooking, Natalie May Scrapbook Ideas. You will find them over there. I have uploaded them ready for you to watch at your leisure. Totally free, totally fun, totally easy. Okay. I'm gonna bring it up to camera. So you can see that the color is very, very rough, but I am gonna be adding some stenciling over the top. Okay, and the good thing is, is there's not a whole lot of wet paint here. So I can just flip that over and rinse and repeat. Cup of tea. Okay, let's start again. Um, I am being super relaxed about this. I am being very carefree. I don't have a plan other than to work with this sort of shape, but I am, what's making it work is the colors that I have chosen here. I've limited myself to my colors. I haven't gone through and thought, oh, I'm gonna add some purple or something like that. That's just not going to work. Um, Limit yourself to the limit, limit the colors in front of you, and you'll get a much, much more, you'll be much more confident in what you're doing as well. So, that makes a big, big difference. Um, the other thing that people quite often say to me is, Oh, Natalie, you make that look so easy. Yes, I do, because I've done it a lot, it's not my first time around the block. Um, but it also is a, a confidence thing as well. It's just a case of just smash it out and get it done. Um, I am a, a firm, I, I believe in my capabilities when it comes to doing this uh, and I love doing it. So I do try and I'm not overthink it. I'm creating this for me. Oh, and for you guys, because you like to watch something pretty. But There we go, getting there. 
My, her, Linda's just commented, my nails look like the Art by Marlene tobacco colour. Yeah, they do actually. <laughs> That's almost a perfect match. Good on, I see it, Linda. So I can still see my images coming through, but I'm happy with that base of colour that I have put down. So what I'm going to do is put the lids back on the colours that I have used here, and then I'm going to work on some new colours, okay, to add some stenciling, add some depth. And then add some stamping, some doodling, and we're done. Let's not overthink it. Rightio. I'm going to grab this tobacco colour. I'm going to grab this gold that needs a very, very good shake. The um, Paper Artsy Gold has got about that much left in the bottom, but when it settles, the green base comes out of it because it is a green-based gold. So therefore, it needs a, t a very good shake. Shake, shake, shake. Exercise for the day. Okay, there we go. How did I go with my shaking? Beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. Don't tell me I lost that pin. You can. No, here it is. Stop looking, found it. Tobacco. I'm also going to add some slate. Slate is this really lovely opaque dark grey. Oh, and I'm going to go with the, no, I'm actually just going to go with the Art by Maolaine one because it's, it's right there. Same, same. Four colours and some stencils. Linda's just commented, the Paper Artsy Light Gold is the bomb. It is, actually. It's really, really nice. Very, very nice. Okay, I'm going to keep it super simple with my stenciling. I've chosen two stencils. I have a blending tool from Ranger with a paddy thing. Replacement sponge. And I'm going to be using my, uh, what's this called? The squared stencil from Natalie May Scrapbooking. And I'm going to start, I'm going to do something I don't normally do. I'm going to go in with my darkest colour. And I'm really going to load my sponge up. And I'm going to grab all of that paint off of there. Now, my stencil's kind of dirty, but... Because I want to do some layering here. Okay. Having a baby wipe handy to take any edges off. Tone it back if you need to. Creates a very cool and interesting look. And I'm not going to do it absolutely everywhere. I'm only going to pop it around in a few spots. And I'm after a really light blend. I don't didn't really want to go with something... Uh, flashy and you know feminine I need to go with something more masculine for this because it is definitely more of a masculine style project now I'm gonna flip it and I'm still just using a dirty sponge because there's no paint left here Getting that in there. And I'm layering over the top.
Okay, I'm gonna go with this dark one next. I'm gonna use the same dirty sponge, creating a new color. And I'm going to build in and around where I have already been. So that it becomes a really lovely shadowed effect. there like so flip it we're not using a whole lot of paint so at this point I haven't needed to use a heat tool uh, big bonus See it's all coming together. And the greys are similar colour to the uh, tissue paper underneath. So there's method to my madness. Now the other thing you'll notice is all of my stenciling is connected to an edge. I don't have anything that has run through the middle at this point. And that is because it just visually looks better. Grabbing a lighter sponge and I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna use a different stencil this time. I'm gonna go with these big fat squares that are on my Mark Mashup stencil. So saturating my sponge, but not leaving it dripping wet. There's a whole heap of color on here, but it's not super moist. Perfect. And I'm keeping my lines vertical, and this is really important. You'll notice that everything else is vertical, so I don't really wanna mix it up too much. I want to try and keep it visually pleasing so I don't want to put things on crazy angles um, that just messes with my head way too much and it doesn't have to go right to the edge to edge to edge it just needs to have that beautiful pattern and again it's connected to the edge of my page Layer upon layer upon layer, said the lovely bonus points. Sorry, I missed the comment there. Linda's just... Ooh. together nicely and then a few down in this bottom corner haven't lost my background okay my, my key images are still here although they covered that guy's hat up a little bit and now I need to rinse and repeat same thing on this side So Linda has, is very generously popping the, the links to the products that I'm using in the comments. So if you are stuck for what I'm using, just click on the comments and have a bit of a look and you will find what you need. Um, I'm using a... See you tomorrow. See you later, alligator. See you in the morning. Fresh for a Friday, baby. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know about fresh either. Louise is leaving for the day, girls. She's gone. She's out of here. And 
much that chick works her pants off. Quick, we can talk about her now, she's gone. She makes a main cup of tea too, just quietly. Little known fact, a little something you didn't know about Louise. A lot of you don't know, she's not a crafter. Very much not a crafter. Um, has not, crafting is not her chosen sport like ours. Louise does, however, run the netball, run netball, netball is her chosen sport, so love that for her. So yes, people get a bit of a kick out of the fact that Lou doesn't netball, it doesn't, doesn't craft, but she knows everything that you guys do. Oh, frozen, hang on a minute. Have I frozen? No, I'm still there. Okay. Sorry, guys. Technology and me are going to be great friends this weekend because it's not the time. All right. I need to add one more layer. So my last layer is going to be the gold. Uh, let's have a bit of a think here. I really do want to use my, my, my crosses here for the gold. Um, sorry that I seem to be a little bit pixelated. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to load up my brush. You saw me just wipe it out with a baby wipe. So this really light gold is gorgeous. I know that I can trust the gold going on, that it looks nice, but I am going to go on with caution and make sure that it does look good. It goes over the top of everything really, really well, and it is quite light. So you're not going to see a lot of it come up on camera until I bring it up to show you. But it's going to put this lovely finish over the top. So you'll just have to trust me on it while I make this magic happen over here. And then I will show you how it looks. So have you all had a wonderful day? Tell me about your day. Have you done anything exciting and incredible? The lovely Linda has created, recreated the uh, the project that we did this morning and she put that up in our Facebook community, which was splendid, her version, which looked really, really great. So I love that some of you out there are creating. How am I going here? Looking good. I'm just going to pop some down here, wrong side. And then I will flip it. Oh yeah, now that shimmer's looking good. Right, so exactly the same thing on the other side, adding a few lovely touches of gold. And I'm layering up over the stenciling that I have already done to get the most out of it. Anybody got any great plans for tonight? My lovely daughter, Miss Jessica, is apparently taking me and her dad out for dinner, which is a little bit exciting. She never does that. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just an excuse to go to her favorite restaurant, which is perfectly fine, especially if she's paying. I don't mind. And I'm looking forward to having a cheeky cocktail or two because I've earned it today, I've worked my pants off. Oh, thank you, Mel. Mel's doing her work. She's at work, doing work, paperwork, and watching me at the same time. Well, that's a bit nice. All right, I'm gonna bring this up to screen to show you. And I'm gonna see if we can get this shimmer to show. Oh, you can see it, look at it. 
Look at it. It's pretty. It's not supposed to be pretty. It's grungy and vintage. Oh, Robin was up at 3 a.m. to go to work. Oh, crikey. I don't love that. So all of those lovely layers now look great. Just grabbing my little all and create basket of goodies here and pulling out those and those. And I think I had some black ones and those. There we go. Don't judge me on my all and create stance. It's a judgment free zone, girls. No judgment, remember? Okay. So I need to now quickly finish this off. So the way we finish this off, because I've been on here way too long, is I need to ink my edges in black. Get rid of that. Where's a... I'm going to grab a new sponging tool. Black. And I'm going to ink my edges in... Black archival, just to dirty that up. And I like the black archival for doing this because it's got that great permanence about it. We are going over the top of acrylic paint. Um, I'm going to be adding some pen in a minute and we have to do both sides. So I like to make sure that it is completely and totally inked around the edges. And there's no rules as to why you can't edge with a blending tool and archival. The only problem catch is that you might not get this clean again. This is just going to become your black blending tool. Oh, I'm really liking this. Flip it. And I'll finish it off with some quotes. So in a moment, I'll have a, have a look at my new All and Create die cut quotes. I've got a couple of different sets here that they have sent me as part of being a guest designer with them for the next three months. Now I'm going a little bit light here on my edging because my paper is a little bit damp still from all of that collaging and all of that stenciling, but it's just, it's just damp. Nothing's actually transferring onto my fingers. It's not that sort of damp, it just feels, oh, I'm gonna use the word again. It just feels moist to touch. And I'm not being super, as you can see, I'm not being super fancy. I'm just getting a grungy edge on it. Right. Do I want to add any stamping? No, because I haven't got my stamps handy, so I'm not getting off my chair again. I could add some word stamps, but like I said, it's not going to happen. But I really, really love this. So instead of adding, I think maybe some black phrases might be nice. Um, and what have I got here? I've got the bite me black phrases. The craft ones are just going to be a little bit too light. Actually, maybe the white ones, the white ones might look really nice. Now, these are really lovely because they're tiny little fonts. And I am going to just grab a few random ones out here. And this one says, I don't have the energy to pretend to like you today. Oh, okay. Here's another one. Don't worry about what people think. They don't do it very often. I'd agree with you if you were right. That one's too big. Oh, they're lovely and long. I'm trying to find a couple of smaller ones. You play the victim, I'll play the disin disinterested bystander. That's a good one to put there. That one there. F 
Fun fact, alcohol increases the size of the send button by 89%. True. Send that. Okay. A village somewhere is missing their idiot. Okay. They're full of complimentary little phrases. Let's whack those on there. I'm just going to use the Art by Marlene glue, which has I've over squeezed. Up there. Um, I don't know if everyone has a glue of choice. This is my current favourite. I'd agree with you if you were right. I'll pop that one up there. Don't worry about what people think. They don't do it very often. Oh, God, there's so many, so many funny ones. Mel just commented this. <laughs> you could use so many of these. Um, yeah, I was a little selective on reading them out. There's some super cheeky ones. And there's some very, very accurate ones. Some that I would love to pop on some Christmas cards. If I was that sort of person, but I'm not that sort of person, so I'll take that back. Um, yes, I am that sort of person. I'm going to grab myself a black pen, any sort of random black pen. Is this one thick enough? No. This one thick enough? Yes. And it needs a black edge around it because it just finishes them off. You know how I love a good black edge a good black doodle line and it just finishes it off and makes it look better it makes it look like you've put a little bit more work in it than just painting it and you know because we have put a lot of work into it and it's a very loose line and i'm okay with a loose line Linda, it's okay, my love. You don't need to link. I appreciate that you're linking. So what's going to happen, as I always do for you guys, after this live Facebook, I'm going to take a photo of my project and I'm going to link some of the products that I have used in the comments section. And then if you choose to, if you think you need them, you can click on those links and it will take you straight through to those items. We love to try and make things nice and easy for you. And of course, this weekend, you can utilise our No Judgment Postage Special. So for those of you who don't know what that is, what we have got is a, we do a new special every single day for you. So that means we have got a new special starting tomorrow. You only pay postage one time over the weekend. We would love to be able to offer you free postage, but that's just not how our business works. I still have to pay for postage, so um, we try and charge you the very, very minimum that we can for this year. So what you do is you place your first order for $9.95 for, with $9.95 postage, and then all every order that you place after that, you can select no judgment. Okay, sometimes I wish I was an octopus so I could slap eight people at once. Bam. Some of these are a bit big. I'm going to have to trim them down. I'm not putting that one in because that one's about a boss and I am the boss. I am the boss. Oh, here we go. I don't go crazy. I am crazy. I go normal from time to time. Yes, correct. I don't fall asleep. I overthink myself into a coma. Wow. That is definitely me. Oh, here we go. When I ask for directions, please don't use work like words like go left. No, that one's silly. Don't like that one. Um, here we go. I clapped. I clapped because it finished, not because I liked it. Zombies eat, eat brains. You're safe. 
All right, so I've got five there to use and let's stick those down. So again, I need that in retail sometimes. Yeah. I tell you what, working in retail is sh should definitely be something I, I I'm not cut out for retail. And that's okay. I'm cut out for an online business where I can walk around with no shoes on. <laughs> and I can does that one fit? Perfectly. I'm definitely cut out for online. I love doing these online um, mini classes with you guys. Oh, come on. I held my glue up the wrong way. I think these are my favorite thing to do. Oh, watching me put this on is probably boring as hell, guys. I'm really sorry. Right, stuck on, put the glue, put the lid on properly this time and finish that off there. All right, so yes, the no judgment postage is all about you. It's all about making sure that you get the best value for money this weekend. Um, value for money is important with Natalie May Scrapbooking. You know that we, we focus on doing, trying to make you guys the get the best out of everything that we do. Um, so $9.95 for your first order for postage and then every order after that you can select no judgment and that goes to towards us. We cut, put all your orders together in a big bag, then we have a, a, third, a third bonus staff member come in and check off all of your orders to make sure everything is there. We are... Uh, if your order is under one and a half kilos, you won't need to pay any additional postage. Um, but yeah, we do try and look after you the best we can while Australia Post haven't put their rates up. But I believe they're doing that in the new year because, you know, we love that. All right. Black pen, super loosey goosey. Stick, stick, stick. Rightio. And I'm done. Done like a dinner. So let's have a bit of a look here. Fold her up. Which way are we gonna go? That way, that way, that way, that way. And there we have our little vintage mini book up against last year's. Hang on, I'm folding it the wrong way. Last year's bright little mini. So Really, really easy to do. Couple of tags, some washi tape, some collage paper, some stencils. I really, really like these. I'm tempted just to dirty those up a bit though. They're a bit, they're a bit white. So I've just popped a little gold over them. A little smudge. And we've got that gorgeous paper artsy paper coming through. And that's where these key images here are coming from. And then we've used my Natalie May scrapbooking stencils to layer up. And we've gone for an arty vintage, something that looks totally different to what we would normally do. So I'm going to take a photo of this in a moment and um, show you. But yeah, so it, it'll fold up. You can concertina it up like this. You can add some photos to it. it might make a nice little Christmas gift. Okay, you can read it like a book. Okay, so lots of really clever things that you can do to this to, to make it your own. So there you go. All right, here's your advertise, here's your advert. Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community is where you will find where all the cool kids hang out. NatalieMay.com.au is where you will find 25% off of a huge range of Natalie May Scrapbooking products. Stamps, stencils, storage cases, um, embellishments, stubby holders, aprons, um, lots of cool things. And then you have got Minte, All and Create and Paper Artsy are 20% off until the end 
you know, today, it's, they are not going to be on special tomorrow, guys, at all, or Saturday or Sunday. Tomorrow, we have three brand new specials for you, and you are going to love them. So jump online, do yourself a favor, and we will be posting orders on um, Monday, Tuesday. If you have a local order to pick up, that will be ready for you to collect on Wednesday. And just a friendly reminder that our bricks and mortar store here in Adelaide is closed tomorrow to the public for walk-ins because we have got orders laying around all over the place. So um, we do have to make sure that you don't trip over anything. Thanks, guys. I look forward to chatting with you soon. I'm going to take some photos and pop this up online. And I look forward to seeing you soon. See you in the morning at 9am. Bye.